Today I wanted to do an RV clean with me. We do live in an RV, which we will be living in for quite a while until we get to building our house, which I want to do an update because I haven't done an update on house or house building progress situation in a while, which there really hasn't been much to update. But anyway, I wanted to do a RV clean with me because my parents are going to be stopping in today. They are visiting from New York for a couple weeks. They're going to be staying for Thanksgiving and they're going to come visit us here where we are staying in the RV. They've kind of just been visiting all the siblings and stuff. So I wanted to do a deeper clean than I usually do. I try to keep it as tidy, like every single day I try to keep it as tidy as possible. It just makes it easier to maintain, whether it's my home, my RV, my space, whatever. But I want to do like a deeper clean, like clean the showers, even though they're not going to be sleeping over. But like clean the showers, I have some shelving coming in for the showers for shampoo bottles, just kind of do more of a deeper clean than I usually do. And I have some laundry to do, so I gotta get the laundry out of the way. Just basically like a clean with me. Who remembers those clean with me videos from like 2000? I don't even know. It wasn't that long ago. They were probably pretty popular, I would say like, I don't know, maybe seven years ago, maybe more. Gosh, time flies so fast, I don't even know anymore. But they were they were pretty popular. You would have like a speed clean with me. It would just be like music montage and somebody cleaning. And that would just be the whole video. And I, I used to watch those videos. Now I'm more into vlogs. So, you know. I'm glad the internet now has tons. Now we have like shorts and Instagram reels and it's like boom, 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 boom. And I noticed now when I watch movies, I like skip through them. Like if it's too long, I don't know if it has anything to do with social media and the quick form content. I never used to, I don't think I used to do that before, but now when I'm watching a movie, I'll like skip through and just get like the general idea of the whole movie. Not good, unless it's like a really, really good movie like a really good movie then I, then I won't like you don't you don't want to skip through the good parts I have my morning cappuccino here the kids are going to get again already started in her home school the other two are playing there they're going to get started in a little bit I'm going to go check to make sure the laundry is free because there's only one washer dryer situation combo here so I'm going to make sure that that's free before I go in and drop off my laundry and that's how it will start this day. The laundry? Yes, I got the laundry. The laundry is free. So we can go throw it in. And um, I'll see. Maybe I'll do two loads. But I just want to get at least one out of the way. And then we're going to clean this room here. While the laundry's going, I'm going to start like, cleaning up the kids' toys and stuff. Although, I feel like cleaning up kids' toys is literally useless. Because in five seconds, they're just going to drag them, drag them right out and keep playing with them. But I'm going to call my mom right now and see when they're gonna come so that we can plan for lunch, dinner. My husband makes really good ribs in the oven, in like a Dutch oven, cast iron pot that we have. So it takes about two, three hours. So let me find out when they're coming. Hello, привет. Привет, Mama. Okay, bye. So they're about two hours away and they're gonna be leaving soon so that gives me a little bit of time like i said i don't have to do much i just kind of want to tidy up and do more of a deep clean and you know how people come to your house and they don't notice anything but you always notice things that are just not visible to the naked eye even though my parents literally will not care but i don't know it's just like the idea of people coming over you want to tidy up the house you know so let's start with these toys that again, it's kind of redundant even cleaning them, but I finally figured out how to store their Legos in here. If you guys watched previous vlogs, I was kind of struggling. I had these Lego boxes, which I put away in storage in our shed that's on our land. And then I got these bins right here from the dollar store. So it's $1.25, and I just separated two for my son and two for my daughter. So I'll keep two here, two there, and it's literally a perfect fit. And then these boxes fit perfectly here. My daughter has been like really into doing like she made this for her horses a little well out of car cardboard and sticks and hot glue she's like super crafty like that anything that she wants in terms of toys she can kind of like try to make herself Louise are you vacuuming for me are Mama, you I, I accidentally made a sharpener mess so I just cleaned it oh thank you without even anyone without you anybody telling you I wanted to quickly share about this vacuum because I have tried 
so many different vacuums from Amazon and I feel like this is Pet Shy. This is the best one on Amazon, the best brand on Amazon when it comes to vacuums. This is the brand Tyneco, 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 I don't know, T-I-N-E-C-O and they have so many different kinds. I think I have the S11 Tango. So it comes with two brush heads, a hardwood and a carpet one and then all the different attachments. And the reason why I love this one is because a lot of times vacuums can lose suction over time. But this one has a special attachment where you can clean the filter heads and the suction is almost basically like it's a brand new vacuum every single time. So I've had this for almost a year now and the, one of the biggest things for me is customer service and their customer service has been so good. So the brush head, the first one that I had, this rubber thing right here, like this bumper, it kind of came off. Like once it comes off, there was no way to reattach it. And I reached out to them, gave them the information for where I bought it, my order, all of that. And you do have to register for the warranty. And they sent me a brand new brush head. And then literally like almost a week later, the one of the clips that holds this main body to let me see. So the garbage disposal here basket, there's like a clip that holds it to the main body. It broke off and I reached out to them, sent them a photo and they sent a brand new, which I haven't received it yet because I sent it to my sister's address because I didn't know how long it would take. So I'll see her on Sunday and I'll pick it up. But they literally sent me like a whole brand new body and they're like, let us know if that doesn't solve the issue. So they're cus they didn't even ask. Like I had an issue with this cabinet right here, Mopio. One of the legs, they all have little levelers on the bottom and one of, as I, I was trying to level them and make it a little bit taller so I can fit stuff underneath. And then as I set it, one of them just like completely collapsed. Like the levelers inside just completely collapsed. So I can't even use it to level it. So I reached out to them, sent them photos and they're like asking all these questions, asking me for the, like the shipping label and all that. And I was like, I don't have the shipping label, I don't have the box. Whereas with them, Tinyco, it was like, Boom, done. Just give us an address, we'll ship it out. So the customer service was just insanely next level. I've had Dyson, and then I've had so many different ones on Amazon. This vacuum is actually really good. So right now I kind of, <laughs> I taped it. This is what the tape is for, so I, it doesn't like, it stays attached. But would highly recommend. I'll leave this vacuum down below, because I feel like as you, when you're an adult, things like this are exciting. One of the things that I really like about this vacuum is that it has automatic suction. So it will automatically detect, as you guys saw, like the light goes from blue to red when there's extra debris or whatever. And it will increase suction based on that. Or you could just hit auto max and it will like be on full, full speed. And then it's really easy to dump the trash. You have a clip here and it opens up and it just falls out the bottom so you don't have to you know do any extra work and overall I'd say this is just a really really good vacuum I know people love their wet dry mop which I do want to buy when we get a house I don't really need need it right now in the RV but vacuum wise like this thing definitely performs and their customer service again is just phenomenal
you guys. My parents should be here probably within the hour. My husband just went to the store, grab a few things. I wanted to share about a cleaning solution that I've been using for a few years now that's from Amazon. I personally get a lot of my, just basically a lot of stuff on Amazon just because it's easier with kids. I don't have to leave the house and I don't know. I can like add stuff to my car and I'm not overwhelmed. It's just easier for me to buy it on Amazon. So that's what I do and I found a really great cleaning concentrate. As you guys saw, I was cleaning, I mean I use this for countertops, mirrors, the oven, this. My battery died and I didn't get around to charging my other one so I'm going to try to make this quick and then put the battery to charge. But it's the Natural Riches 5 Guards Essential Oil Blend and it's basically a dupe for the Thieves Blend from I think it's Young Living. And it is a concentrate so you mix this with water and I mix it, I got this glass bottle, I think I got it from... Oh my gosh, um, Thrive Market, I believe it was. And literally uses for absolutely everything. I don't even have Windex or anything like that. It's just, I literally use this for everything. And then Barkeeper's Friend I'll use for like a good deep clean. It's like a couple dollars at Walmart. So that's what I use and would highly, highly, highly recommend. I will link this down below because it's so good. While we're on the topic of cleaning supplies I get on Amazon, here's another product that I love. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. This is the Puracy Stain Remover. I actually tried this probably two years ago and I feel like it's become quite popular now. And this is the free and clear, so it's great if you have babies, little kids, anybody that has sensitive skin. You buy the bottle once with the solution in it and then just keep buying refills. So I love that they have the refill bags. I don't have to keep buying the bottles. And this works, I would say, really, really good, especially for being free and clear as opposed to like the more chemically ones out there. North Carolina, where we are right now, and South Carolina, it has that red soil that we're not used to coming from New York, and that junk is so hard to get out of clothes a lot of times, and my kids are like always rolling around in the dirt. So as long as you spray it on fresh stains, I have just found this to work really, really well. So I've been using this for a few years now, and I do like it. If you have like already set in stains, it might not work that great, but for fresh stains, like at the end of the day when my kids are done, I'll t they'll take off their clothes, I go ahead and spray everything and throw it in the laundry and then just marinates in there. I know it sounds so gross, but until it's ready to do laundry day like a few days later. So I just literally spray it right away before I throw it in the laundry at the end of the day. So that's an item I love and I also wanted to show you guys how the, I forgot what it's called, but the little um, filter cleaning situation works. So look at this filter right here. You see how like gunked up and gross it is? We are about to clean it big time. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did get the Tyneco vacuum on Amazon as well. And the warranty works whether you bought it on the website or on Amazon. So with Black Friday coming up, I would highly recommend kind of looking through all the vacuums. If you need one, that's Chai. And I'm um, just keeping an eye on it for those Black Friday deals. I actually think they're having an early Black Friday starting the 17th. So you get more than just like a weekend to shop, but it comes with this brush head here, which I don't usually use. I just kind of use the other one, but in our, when I had like our house, I did use it more often. And then this is the start of the show. So this is like the filter cleaning tool. You basically open this up and pop the dirty filter in here. So this is the clean one, even though I've used it multiple times, it's not like brand new, you'll be able to see. So here is what it looks like right now. I'm going to pop this in here and you do want to make sure that your um, vacuum is fully charged. Pop that in there and then you're going to put it on max speed, the auto max. And as it's on max speed, you're going to rotate, rotate the brush head kind of like back and forth. So I think you do that for about a minute or so. And then this filter is all ready to go for next time. You, you have the other one in here. and every single time I do that it's like I have a brand new vacuum like I notice a big difference in the suction every time I do that to the filters and swap them out so I don't know I thought that was a really cool concept because a lot of times you know you buy a vacuum it loses suction you're like oh that sucks the house smells so good from those ribs when my parents visited they sent us like my mom makes her own jams she cans her own pickles if you're Slavic a lot of Slavic parents I feel like they grew up that way and they were all into that homestead homemaking situation. They were really good at it. <laughs> My parents also have a really big garden. They'll have grow their own cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, a ton of stuff. And they also grow their own potatoes. So they brought us a bag of homegrown potatoes all the way from New York. So 
So I'm just gonna get these ready because we have some potatoes going in the with the ribs, but for the kids, I'm gonna make like some mashed potatoes, and then I want to do some zucchini pancakes. I've been loving zucchini like fritters, so I got some zucchini to use up. So we're gonna do that, and um, yeah. Yesterday I did arms and abs for my at-home bodies. I'm really feeling it right now. But the zucchini is all shredded. And you want to leave this for about an hour because zucchini has a lot of water content. So I'm going to cover it with a cheesecloth and then leave it for about an hour for the water to kind of separate. And then you're going to strain it through a cheesecloth and you'll be surprised how much water comes out. So let me just cover this. I'm going to go get the laundry. Should be done by now, fold the laundry, and then once I'm done with the laundry, I feel like there'll be enough time. Every influencer out there setting up the camera for that one shot, you know what I'm saying? I have no shame, no shame. Just, you know, casually bringing in my laundry bag, which by the way, I also got on Amazon. I'm telling you, Amazon is just, it's just where it's at. I wanted to share a really yummy Thai tea that my sister-in-law shared with us. She sent us some from California along with a few other things. She got like a sourdough starter kit for my husband. She got my husband into making his own kombucha, so he makes his own, which by the way, it's actually really good. She also sent us some Thai tea, and it looks like this. She gets it on Amazon. It's not intentional, I promise, it's not intentional. She buys it on Amazon, um, but I have to restock so it looks like this and it does have a bit of a vanilla and like natural flavor to it and it is absolutely delicious i'm not a tea person i'm 100 percent a coffee person but i have been drinking this almost every single night i love it either hot or iced the way she makes it is they will steep it overnight i'll leave how many grams per i think it's like 10 grams of tea loose tea to eight ounces of water i'll leave it down below because i don't remember 100 percent and then you just steep it overnight it does not get bitter so like earl grey or something like that it doesn't get bitter when it steeps for a really long time kind of like cold brew and then you just have like a tea concentrate for the rest of the week i use a french press here and you just pour it, it is concentrated, so you just pour it into a cup, whether with hot water, ice, whatever. I'm going to make an ice version. So we boil a little bit of water to dissolve some honey, otherwise the honey will not dissolve. I'm going to put a little bit of honey into, this is my dad's honey, by the way. He makes his own honey. He's a beekeeper, and it's so delicious. He sent us a few more. They're up, we can't see it. They're up there, because I have nowhere else to put them. So I have some honey in a cup. And then you want to dissolve the honey with a little bit of hot water. I'm going to go get the ice. I don't want to say it, but this is also off of Amazon. <laughs> because we don't have an ice maker in the RV fridge, so I'm doing an iced version. So I'm going to pour a little bit of water in there just to dissolve the honey because otherwise it won't really dissolve. Oh, you know what? My sister-in-law recommended for me to use maple syrup. I should have done that. But you don't have to sweeten it. I just prefer it sweet and like not too sweet. You can definitely do it to taste. I'm gonna add some ice cubes. And then just pour in your tea concentrate. I'm gonna do quite a bit. And then your milk or creamer of choice. And it's gonna be like this bright orange caramel color almost like coffee i think maybe that's why i really love it <laughs> aside from the taste the coffee the color is beautiful and then she also sent us these little stainless steel straws get a good mix mm. 
it is so good. It's not bitter. It has a little bit of vanilla flavoring in it. It's just such a good tea concentrate. Probably like this better than chai tea. It is so good. on my last batch of these zucchini fritters. I used a random recipe I found on Pinterest and it's pretty good. I love that it has adds in Parmesan cheese. I feel like that adds a really nice flavor. The only thing I added in of my own was flour and then I ended up adding even, even more flour in because they were kind of falling apart and soggy flour adds a lot more structure, makes it more like a pancake. What my mom does sometimes so she'll mix grated potatoes with grated zucchini and do like zucchini potato pancakes. I feel like I have to clean the oven all over again. But it is what it is. Guess who's here? They're so excited. Oh my goodness. I got my Amazon packages in. My parents actually just left. They didn't want to stay for too long because they have an hour to drive to my brother's house and they don't want to drive when it's too dark. Didn't get to sit around the fire too much because they had to leave, but it was really nice seeing them. We're going to see them on Sunday. It's my dad's birthday. Sorry, I'm just trying to open the packages. They're going to be staying for Thanksgiving and it's going to be the entire family for Thanksgiving, which doesn't always happen. But now that all the siblings live nearby and my parents came in, we can all get together, so that's really nice. Mwah. You nosy cat ordered some new shampoo and conditioner for the kids. It's from a brand I've never tried before. It's Ever Eden. I don't know, but it said kids detangling shampoo. Both of my girls, their hair tangles, so I was like, I need to try it. And the packaging was just so stinking cute. This one has like a little winking face. It's so cute. Like, I can't look at the, the packaging. They did like an A++ on the smell. I don't know. Let me see. Actually smells pretty nice. I also got some body wash. This is one that I've used in the past and really loved. Naturium came out with a whole body wash line. They have a few different kinds. I get the Glow Getter one and it's like an oil. Does not strip the skin. Feels pretty luxurious. And overall Naturium I think is a really great brand that creates great skincare products without sacrificing quality at like an affordable price. Oh now the bottle is going to be all sticky. That's not cool. And I was on Instagram and I saw that she came out with a new body butter. I have a body butter that I talked about in the previous video where I self tanned from tree to tub and I really love it. So I was like, I don't need another body butter. But for like everyday daily use, I prefer to use a lotion that's not as heavy. So I didn't know that they had this. This is the Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. Looks very similar to the body wash. So I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try. I love Naturium. I've tried so many of her skincare products which I think she sold, I think it's fragrance free, yes it's fragrance free, it has omega fatty acids, shea butter, B vitamins, plus sodium PCA, I think she sold her brand, Susan Yara, I don't remember to who or what happened there, but I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that she sold her brand, and I was like, oh, I mean good for her I guess, you know you gotta move on, but she's still, I think she's still like the face of it, another thing that I buy on Amazon is also toothpaste, they carry the brand Boca, and I've been buying this for over a year, B-O-K-A, 
and it has a nano hydroxy appetite NHA which it says it's a revolutionary natural mineral widely used in dentistry and oral health because it's safe so we use fluoride free toothpaste so this is why we love this brand they have so many different kids flavors we specifically love the orange cream one for the kids and i love that it has like the flip top instead of the screw cap and then i saw that they had a new whitening toothpaste for adults so i ordered that for us that's the one that didn't come in yet and right now i'm using their red cranberry one i basically tried i think i tried their lavender mint then they have like a another they have a few different kinds and i've tried so many different flavors and they're all really, really good. So if you're looking for a fluoride-free toothpaste, highly recommend Boca, especially for kids. I think it's really, really great. And then I also saw they have whitening strips. It was like a new arrival. So we are gonna give these a try, but obviously I can't re review them right now because you gotta use them for like at least seven days. It says up to seven days or until you see desired results. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Right now, just to maintain a little bit of a whiter smile, I use a whitening pen that I love from Moon. This one here, it's the one with Kendall Jenner collab, and it's just so easy to use. You just apply it on the teeth like once a day, and just so easy to use, and I have no sensitivity to that one, but I wanted something a little bit with more whitening power, so hopefully these will deliver. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm a little tired. It's been a, quite a day, so I'm a little more monochromatic, and then this right here is Sheer Tex. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the tights that are supposed to be super duper durable they were having a black friday sale so i ordered some put them on for the first time for our like friends giving and i was going to tell my cousins about them and i looked down and i see that there's a snag and i'm like what the heck this is my first time wearing them the main marketing behind these tights is that they are super durable and they already have a snag and they were on sale for like major sale i think for $35 or so so I wasn't really impressed so I reached out to them because they have a 90 day guarantee of sorts and they sent me a they didn't have the exact ones that I wanted so they said I could get a similarly priced one so I picked out these here so great customer service so that's that so these shelves are not going to work for my shower because it's not a complete square that is pretty disappointing like here's one edge here's the other it wobbles back and forth it's not flush so that kind of sucks. I guess I'll just, you know, whatever, use the space that I have. But I have this corner here in the bathroom. So there's the vanity. I'm standing in the shower right now. And then there's this corner where the toilet is. And I wanted to always put something here, but I never knew what. And these are literally, like, perfect. I could put, like, even a candle here, maybe an extra roll of toilet paper. I can hang one higher and one here. I just got to make sure when you're sitting on the toilet, it doesn't hit your head. Here are what the shelves look like installed. They're super easy to install. I ended up placing them, this one, like a lot higher because obviously you don't want to hit it when you're sitting on the toilet. Although I'm not, I mean, unless you're like a giant, I feel like, like this is me literally sitting up in the air. So I feel like you'll be fine. I don't know. I have a feeling my husband's going to be like, why do we need them? But I feel like they're going to, you know, be very handy and useful because I can. You know, put my lotions up here. Maybe put like a little cute plant, some perfumes or something. I'm not gonna style them right now because I have to take them off and let the adhesive sit set for like 24 hours. But this is what it looks like from behind. You have these two shelves and I plan to style them. And I feel like it'll add a little bit of something to that corner that was lacking something. I originally wanted to get like, you know those rod things? But I'm like, nah, that's not gonna look good, so. I guess I found use for them after all. And then the shampoo and conditioner we're just gonna find a place for. It is what it is, but I'm gonna finish the video here because I feel like it has been so long and it's been a long day. And I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. There was a lot of cleaning and stuff and anything I use down below, I'll link down below if you guys wanna shop it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and hopefully I'll see you in future videos.